All right, everyone, begin to settle down. We're going to get back to it again today. I told you I'd be back a lot sooner this time. All right, I'm not going to diddy-dally this time. We're going to get right into it. Today's SCP is SCP-021, otherwise known as the Skin Worm. Object class for this SCP is safe. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-021 is an obligate parasite of the human body. Containment, therefore, is no more difficult than containing an adult human. Most cells will suffice in this case. Item is currently housed in Detention Cell 27A on Subject D-139. Only Class D personnel are eligible for hosting SCP-021. As long as given subject survives as a host for SCP-021, he is exempt from normal monthly terminations of Class D personnel. Description SCP-021 takes the form of a large, elaborate tattoo of a serpentine dragon in the oriental style covering approximately 0.8 square meters of skin. This tattoo is fully animate with the confines of the host's skin and behaves largely as a normal animal would, albeit in only two dimensions. The tattoo's movement causes constant pain to its host, comparable and similar in character to simultaneous tattooing and tattoo removal on a large scale. The organism tends to spend most of its time on and near the torso. SCP-021 displays no intelligence beyond a basic pattern of feeding and locomotion, although actually measuring the intelligence of a two-dimensional life form has proven impossible thus far. SCP-021 appears to feed exclusively on pigments in the host's skin. This can include melanin, in which case the subject appears at suffering from vitiligo. However, the organism shows a marked preference for other tattoos, and will seek out and devour these before resorting to the natural pigments. It should be noted that the feeding process itself, beyond the sensation of movement, is painless. Normal tattoo ink simply vanishes as it's eaten. The organism maintains a consistent size, and no excretions have been observed. The organism is capable of clearing over 0.6 square meters of skin per hour. One may feed SCP-021 by quickly tattooing fruits or small animals on the host. SCP-021 can be transferred between hosts by various forms of physical contact with differing rates of success. In the case of a successful transfer, the organism simply swims from one person to the other. Sexual intercourse appears to be the most reliable method of transfer, with a 93% rate of transmission. However, due to the severe pain involved, this is less than ideal. Contact between two open wounds is generally preferable. Transfer is more complicated in deceased subjects, though, and not unreasonably so. The organism suffers no ill effects from the death of its hosts and continues to consume pigments. Transmission between species is unknown. Previous tests suggest that it is either impossible or just exceedingly rare. SCP-021 does confer some benefits to its host. The tattoo has been proven to accelerate the release and reuptake of epiphrine and decreases lactic acid buildup, providing boosts of strength, confidence, and pain tolerance in stressful situations and reducing the usual after effects of weakness and fatigue. In addition, the tattoo seems to have some beneficial effects to the host's immune system. Aggression profiles in hosts are generally higher than average, though. Where Whether this is a direct effect of the tattoo or simply a reaction to the constant pain remains to be seen. 
the symbiotic relationship is usually limited to how long the host can tolerate such pain in everyday life. This has accumulated in suicide in a number of subjects. In rare cases, hosts have also fallen victim to fatal skin infections. SCP-021's origins are and nature are a complete mystery. Tracing its transmission from host to host is hardly feasible within the confines of secrecy, and the organism could well be hundreds of years old, if not even more. Nevertheless, SCP-021's captivity is one of the longest in the SCP Foundation's history, at nearly data expunged years, and has been very educational thus far. Current research focuses mainly on observing the characteristics of life in two dimensions. Well, that was a pretty interesting one. Hope I don't ever get demoted to D class. <laughs> I mean, as long as you guys、uh, keep the secrets about the special SCPs I've shown you all, the ones with the restrictions and all, I should be fine. Yeah, it is a pretty cool tattoo, though. I will admit. Anyway, I've rambled on long enough. You can all go now. Have a nice day. <laughs>